Hey, what's up guys? It is Dan Lags, and I am back again for another TU14 special edition video. And guys, I'm going to be building this police car for you guys right here. Just a little simple tutorial. This is a police car design I've been wanting to build for a long time. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it's, it kind of adds the, uh, you know, the, uh, the law aspect to LD. So we got the LDPD now, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to build a whole bunch of these police cars all around the map. So I thought I would share it with you guys in a quick little video. So let's go ahead and build this thing real quick. I'm going to come over here. And uh, we're, I actually built this in the same area that I built all those other cars earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and place a block of gray wool to start. I'm going to place a ladder on the front of that. Then we go ahead and place two quartz stairs on each side of that. Follow that up with a bedrock block behind the quartz stairs on each side. Then I'm going to go ahead and just place a regular old block of quartz like that. Behind the bedrock, we're going to add two more blocks of gray wool on each side. And then we're good from there. So then we, what we want to do is actually add three blocks of quartz going across like that. We're going to add another two more blocks of bedrock representing the tires. And I'm just going to slow down for you guys real quick. Make sure I'm not going too fast. Just kind of, you can just kind of copy what I've done so far. We're going to add another block of quartz in between the tires. And then we're going to go ahead and add some upside down quartz stairs going across the back, just like that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to place some regular quartz stairs on top of the block that has the tires on it. Then we're going to go ahead and take some quartz slabs across. We're going to take them out three from the uh, you know stairs, just like we did on the other car, if you watched that video. Take that across like that. So the uh, design is slightly different, but it's it's still pretty similar. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually break these just like we did on the other one. And we're going to go ahead and place our upside down stairs like that, just so we ha kind of have that same design going for us. So now we're going to start adding some of the differences between the two cars. Uh, first things first, let me go ahead and get out some buttons for you guys. And I'm going to actually go ahead and place some buttons on the sides of the tires as like our little tire axle thing. It's not perfect, but you know, it's Minecraft. And then what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and add some cool stuff to the top. So I'm going to actually clear my inventory. I'm going to get out some red carpet, some light gray carpet. If you're using a different texture pack, I'd recommend just white carpet for this. I'm going to get some blue carpet and then I'm going to get out some redstone repeaters, some redstone torches and a, not a lever. Sorry, I just want a regular torch. Where the heck are those nowadays? Always, oh, here we go. <laughs> Still trying to get used to the new uh, palette. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place, sorry, I'm going to place my um, redstone repeaters one block in on each one of the sides. And then in between that, I'm going to place a torch. Now behind the repeaters, I'm going to go ahead and place two uh, regular redstone torches. And those are going to kind of be like the sirens, like the flashing lights on top of the car. And I'm going to follow that up by adding some, um, you know, just like some red, white, and blue, just representing like the police colors, I guess like that. So that is almost it. We're going to add just a couple more like fancy designs. I'm going to go ahead and place some light gray wool on top of the tires in the front here. Just, you know, add a little bit to the tires. Back here, I'm going to actually clear my inventory again. I'm going to get out some red wool. I need to find it first. Again, like I said, still trying to get used to the palette. Um, I'm going to get some signs and some item frames out. And I'm just going to go ahead and place item frames in the back here. Yeah, well, maybe not because, you know, I... <laughs> Never mind. You know, we're not going to do that then. I'm going to make a little sign. Sorry, it always throws me off whenever that's locked out, but I always have to remember that. Yeah, but basically what I wanted you to do, guys, uh, first off, de la, very important. All I wanted you to do, guys, is just place an item frame on each side and then just put the red wool in it, just representing, like, tail lights. But I get, apparently we can't do that, but that's all right. You guys can. And that is it, guys. That is our little police car. Pretty simple, you know, but it, it's pretty awesome, I have to say. I think this is a pretty cool design. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys can use it in this world. Maybe you guys can build police stations now and have all these police cars. So, guys, let me know if you want me to do any more, um, like, car videos or, like, whatever, any vehicles or anything like that. Just, like, stuff like that. Uh, leave comments. Let me know. And I'll gladly provide that stuff for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to click the like button if you did enjoy it. Got many more TU14 shenanigans along the way, guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It has been your friendly neighborhood, Dan. Like, subscribe if you're new, all that stuff. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.